Welcome to Yoga Mints Food and Flow. I'm Melissa, your healthy food chef. And I'm Camilla, your yoga instructor. Today's focus is bountiful, and I'm making a very bountiful raw apple cobbler for you. And I'm going to teach you a pose that's very bountiful. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. Okay. Let's go. Today, I'm making a really delicious raw apple cobbler for you. Apple cobbler is one of America's favorite desserts, and today I'm going to make one that's a little bit outside of the box and it's raw, it's not even cooked. I'm starting with some lower sugar Granny Smith apples since we're focusing on lowering our blood sugar. And most of the time when we eat dessert, we eat desserts that are really sugary and kind of throw our blood sugar through the roof. So today I'm going to use ingredients that will help stabilize our blood sugar and we can still have sweet in our life. We're starting with Granny Smith apples and Gala apples, a little mix to give a variety. The Granny Smith apples are really low in sugar. I'm also using cashews, which are high in proteins and healthy fats. I got some pecans for the topping, some dates and raisins, and we're gonna throw some cinnamon in there, which also helps to stabilize your blood sugar. You know, apple cobbler is one of those things that if you take it to a family function, most people will love it. It's one of the staples. So this one is a little bit different and it's really delicious and simple to make. So let's start with all the ingredients. So we're gonna start off with some cashews, which I soaked for about four hours. They get really, really soft when you soak them, so they make a great base for a dessert. So we're gonna put those right in our blender and a little bit of the raisin water. This is the water that I soaked the raisins in. It helps plump the raisins up and it gives a little bit of sweetness. We have some raw agave nectar, which is a low glycemic sweetener, probably about a quarter cup. And I'm gonna add some fresh grated nutmeg. Did you know that nutmeg comes looking like this? Most of the time we see it in a jar. So I'm gonna use my trusty little microplane and grate it fresh in there. It smells so good. It reminds me of Christmas time. Okay, so we're gonna add some vanilla extract. This cream is so delicious and you just mix it right with the apples and it gives it a really yummy, creamy base. Whoops, dropped my lid. All right, let's blend it up. Yummy. Great. Now we're going to pour this cream right on top of our apples, which I cut up into little slices. I kept the peel on. Look how beautiful those are. Apples are really bountiful right now. They're in season, they're crisp, they're delicious. So we're gonna pour that right on top. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. I'm also gonna add some cinnamon to that. Cinnamon is great, it helps stabilize your blood sugar throughout the day. Just one little teaspoon a day will stabilize your blood sugar and stop you from going through all those highs and lows. So let's mix this up. Wow. The smells, the textures, creamy, crunchy, crispy, bountiful. And we're gonna pour it right in our pan. Just make sure you spread the cashew cream around evenly. Beautiful. And what I'm gonna do is sprinkle some fresh plump raisins on top. Can you believe this is gonna be a raw dessert? This looks amazing. Live active enzymes, great for your digestion, lots of energy in this food because it's all raw. Look how beautiful that is. So now we're going to make the topping, which is just basically pecans. We're going to put those right in our food processor. We have some coconut, raw shredded coconut, about a quarter cup. I'm also gonna add some dates in here. You need about a quarter cup of dates, about between a quarter cup and a half a cup, it just depends. Make sure they're pitted. You don't wanna get those pits in there. They're really, really hard and you don't wanna break your tooth on one of those. Okay, let's blend this up. This is gonna be our crumbly topping. Wow, 
Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is just sprinkle this right on top. You can put as much or as little as you want on there. If you like a lot of crumbly topping, put the whole thing. If you just want a little bit, you can just put a little bit. Can't wait to share this with Camilla. Wow. Really yummy, low in sugar, stabilizes your blood sugar all day. And if you wanna share a sweet treat with your friends at a party or over a holiday, this is the most awesome dessert to take and bring with you. Enjoy. We are gonna do a really fun exercise. It's gonna make you feel strong and alive. Apart from making your thighs toned and giving you an overall better fitness level, it also increases the circulation in the respiratory system by promoting better breathing. And it will also, to add on top of that, give you better virility and sexual potency. We're gonna do something called frog pose. So come up and you're gonna Come up on your heels, the heels are or on your toes, the heels are touching. You're gonna to put your hands in front, just like a frog, and this is the pose. The first tip I'm gonna give you is to keep about 40% of the weight in your hands and 60% of the weight in the legs. And you're gonna be inhaling and stretching up. So inhale, keeping the heels up, and exhale and coming down. This is a, a really fun thing to do. Love your knees. Never push your knees, only do what feels okay to you. And if you feel any pain, just back off and slow down. Also, if you feel a little bit dizzy because you're racing your heart rate, just back off. Melissa, why don't you come and join me? Come on in here. All right. I'm excited for this. <laughs> okay. So 40% in your hands and 60% okay. in your legs. Great. Okay, and here's tip number two. If you go faster, it's easier, okay? It's and we're gonna start with a few, but build up to 26, then 54, and then 108, and if you're a fanatic, keep going. Are you ready? I'm ready. So the inhale, the breath, we, we straighten our legs, and exhale, we come down, all right? Let's do it. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Wow. How do you feel? Those are great. <laughs> do you feel alive? My legs feel really strong. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you feel like you get a burn in your legs, that's good. That means you're building muscle. That's a good one. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later in the kitchen. See you later for some treats. This is a really fun exercise to do with kids and you feel free to make any kind of noise that you want to add to it. And also, if you want to keep the momentum going, put on some great music that you enjoy. Have fun, Satnam. Thank you for joining us for Yoga Mint's Food and Flow. Today's focus was bountiful. So remember, eat fresh, breathe deeply, and, and be, be in, in the, the flow. flow. All right, what do we got? Raw apple cobbler. Really? Wow. You know what? I have extra cream here too. I'm gonna Melissa. give you a little extra on top. Melissa Costello, look at this. Look at this bountiful. You know, this is really good for balancing your blood sugar. It doesn't give you all the crazy highs and lows like regular desserts do. Ah, and being fit after the frog poses. Oh, those frog poses killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's really good. Wow.